In order to most effectively use PS Suites and run queries, there are a few key fields that need to be completed in the demographics area. Now there are two different ways to access the demographic area of the chart. The first is to go to patient. Up in this top window here, you click patient, scroll down, and click edit patient demographics, which will pull up this window here. The other way, I'll just close this, is to double click on this bar here, right next to where the address is. Double click, and you see the same window pops up. So there are a few different important fields that need to be filled out here. You have the last name, first name, if you want there's a place to put what someone's preferred name is. Birth date is very important, as well as the sex, in order to be able to carry out screening maneuvers for these patients. You can make sure that the address is up to date in this area. You can enter an email if you want. And then in the phone section, you can actually place a little star next to the preferred phone number. So see, I just switched it to the business phone, and now anybody that opens this patient's chart can see that that is the preferred phone number. And if you just look over here, you can see that it's the previous number we had mobile selected before that's bolded in the demographics info so that everybody that may be calling this patient can see that that's the preferred number. There's a star there. So now here, under Patients MD, this is the suggested area to place the preferred main attached physician to to this patient. So in order to select it, it's actually a drop-down menu. You can't free text here. So we know that this physician here, if we want to change it, you can either choose a different position based on these arrows there, or if we were to erase it, you can press the first letter of the first name, press tab, and it'll come up. Now down here where it says primary provider, this defaults to the same physician that's listed under your patient's MD. Um, but if you do want to change it for your internal processes, there's another drop-down and you can change this without it changing the patient's MD. These other two fields don't need to be filled out, the referring MD or family MD, but they can be filled out if you wish, and that is a free text. So that summarizes a majority of the demographic info here, and you can press save to save all of the changes that we've made.